just go to just go to see like you ain't got no real friends out here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I learned from that. Before Gunna would blow up off the back of his hit song Drip Too Hard featuring Lil Baby. Before Gunna would claim the top spot on Billboard's album chart after dropping his newest album, Wanna, with fans listening to his songs over 144 million times in the album's first week of release. We can the world, it's just making us like just want to goddamn push the craft a little bit more. Before Gunna would have 1.3 million followers on Twitter, 3.1 million followers on Instagram, and over 1.2 million subscribers on YouTube at the time of this recording, Gunna is an Atlanta born rapper who has had to earn every inch of his bragging rights. Since releasing his first mixtape in 2016 with Drip Season, he's climbed rung by rung to the very top of the industry, lending his talent and melodic flows to the likes of Travis Scott and even Mariah Carey along the way. That's some tea. I love her so. She likes my own do a song. I love her. She likes Mariah Carey. I'm like, stop playing. Yeah, for real. He's also had a number of memorable team-ups with good friend Lil Baby, and together they form a one-two punch that's one of the most untouchable duos in the hip-hop history. But it was Gunna's partnership with the prolific rapper Young Thug that really primed him for success after the two first met back in 2015. These two clicked immediately, and after Young Thug would sign his protege to YSL Records, Gunna would release more and more drip season mixtapes that set his star ablaze. What's going on guys and girls? It's your girl Azalea Hart back at it again, this time dusting off the old catalog to update a pre-existing video. We first took a look at Gunna so long ago that Michael first wrote his original script on open office software. And while Gunna might not have kicked off his career with makeshift software, he did the musical equivalent in a friend's makeshift closet studio. Today, I'm gonna tell you all about that as I take you on an updated look at Gunna's come up here for you on Before They Were Famous. Don't forget to follow our Instagram account at Before They Were Famous to vote on what's next. All right, let's get into his story. Be sure to subscribe and hit that bell. Boom! Gunna was born Sergio Giovanni Kitchens on June 14th, 1993. Wow, his parents really threw everything they had into that name, including the kitchen sink. Sorry, that one was low hanging fruit. If I'm being honest, it's actually a pretty slick name and arguably more badass than his already extremely badass rapper name. My age, I've seen a lot of shit. You know what I mean? I, I grew up with the OG. So like, I really believe that. You know what I mean? Cause nigga, I seen a lot of shit out right here. And shit, I just, I'm just putting that shit in, 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 in my raps. You know what I mean? Giving that shit to the streets. Like raw. Wow, you know what I mean? Like gonna. Gunna grew up in College Park, Georgia, a town just outside of Atlanta. He was the youngest of five brothers, and while he was raised primarily by his mother, his father was still an extremely important presence in his life. His father taught him from an early age that if he wanted something in this life, then it would be up to him to go out there and get it. Meanwhile, Gunna was decent at school, but never spectacular. He reportedly attended Langston Hughes High School, but he had trouble avoiding the streets. In fact, in a moment of early tragedy in his life, one of his brothers was shot and killed, which led to Gunna having to grow up fast. Oh, he got shot. He got shot. He got killed. Sorry to hear that. Yeah. Gunna had always had an interest in music from an early age. It started with artists like A Town Legends, Big Boy, and Andre 3000, better known as the rap duo Outkast. But it included others as well. He told Forbes, Who I listen to coming up? Artists like Young Thug and Future. That's more recent. Back then, I used to listen to T.I., Cameron, and Jim Jones. I used to listen to all different types of music. I looked up to the style they had. It had an impact on me, and it's why I talk about Drip. When he was in his mid-teens, Gunna discovered that a neighborhood kid had his own recording studio. So Gunna and his group of friends would hang out there and record tracks together. He spent as much time there as possible and often had to be kicked out. He knew from that point forward that he wanted to make music his career. But at first, as a teenager, Gunna worked a job as a short order cook at a local restaurant. He quit soon after he was hired, realizing quite quickly that his profession was not for him. I had one boy job, man. Good job. You want to care to say what you did? Yeah, I, I was cooking, doing some bullshit. Quit, quit that job, got fired from it? 
I quit. I couldn't do that. I really quit. This led to him falling back into the temptations of the street. In 2011, he ended up facing drug-related charges and decided to finally get his life on track. Gunna attended an undisclosed college for a short period of time before dropping out from a lack of interest. Knowing that he couldn't fall back into his old pattern of returning to the streets, Gunna decided to focus on making music again. He started calling himself Young Gunna and dropped his first mixtape called Hard Body on SPC Entertainment in 2013. Name speaks for itself. It's hard, buddy. That motherfucker is hard. Like you're gonna be able to put that motherfucker in and ride it. Like that just it's too real. I, I put my all into it. Like I said, like I said, I'm putting that all in my raps. I'm giving y'all that. Gunna told Kovatour, behind the scenes, I mean, my closest friends are Young Thug Troop. These are my people who really came out of my neighborhood with me. They really supported me and believed in me before anybody even knew what I looked like. You know what I'm saying? I gotta give my props to them first. Gunna used these new relationships to springboard his career forward and in 2016, he dropped his first professional mixtape, Drip Season, followed by Drip Season 2 in May of 2017 and Drip Season 3 in February of 2018. The latter album placed on several charts, including the number 55 spot on the US Billboard Albums chart. Once he dropped that album, Gunna knew he was on his way. He told Kovatora, since Drip Season 3 dropped, I feel like my life has been taken to another level. I am more of an artist now instead of being a rapper that's coming up or a local rapper. I feel like more of a mainstream artist. Gunna has evolved as a songwriter as well. He no longer writes his lyrics down like he used to, now he likes to create and record in the studio room, not even the booth. He's always conscientious about losing the vibe and he plays off the other people in the room to create his bars and unique musical energy. By October of 2018, Gunna dropped a joint mixtape with Lil Baby called Drip Harder. It was one of the most successful albums for both artists at the time it was released and featured appearances by the likes of Nav and Drake. In February of 2019, Gunna finally released his first studio album, Drip or Drown 2, which charted at number 3 on the Billboard 200 and its lead single, One Call, went certified platinum. More recently, in May of 2020, Gunna released Wanna, which topped the Billboard charts on the week of its release, cementing Gunna as one of the top rappers in the game. As for the rest of his story, well, I think we're gonna end this one right here. After all, this is before they were famous. What did you guys think of Gunna's life story? And where does he rank on your list of all-time favorite rappers from A-Town? Let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to follow our new Instagram page at Before They Were Famous to vote for who we're gonna see next. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Now we drop a new video each and every day, so here's a recent drop that you might enjoy. We handpicked that one for you because if you like this video, you'll probably like that. We also got playlists like over here, so click on that if you want to see a whole list of a bunch of videos we've dropped in the past. And if you're new to the Fame Gang, be sure to subscribe and turn on them post notifications, and I'll see you guys in another video. Boom!